Well, I just want to take one last chance to thank you all for coming out to be a part of our uh, Christmas program today. Uh, The kids have had a lot of fun uh, putting this on, a lot of fun with practice. All of a sudden, it got louder. Uh, So they've had a lot of fun with practice, uh, a lot of fun doing this. Um, It's been kind of interesting. We had a high school girl come out uh, just to help out with choreography and stuff, and she ended up getting cast as a guy. Um, So... Hey, we had to make things work, and this is going to be just an absolutely wonderful time. Uh, One of the things that that we talked to the kids about yesterday was the most important thing about this all is to have fun because they're here worshiping uh, worshiping our Lord and Savior. So uh, we just want to take this time to worship together and to share this with you. So I'm going to pray for our time uh, this morning, and then the kids are going to, um, they're going to bring worship through this musical. So let's pray. God, we just we thank you so much for being the God that you are, uh, being a God that that we know right now you're you're sitting up in heaven, just uh, smiling down on on these kids and their heart for you, and the fact that they uh, they want to come up here and just be silly and and have fun, but they're doing it all for you. We pray that you be with all of us that we we hear the message of this musical, we hear the the profound love that you have for us. Uh, we just pray that you be with us right now that we truly make this a time of worship. Lord, we love you and thank you, and it's in your son's name that we pray. Amen. Without further ado, The Last Leon.
That's Leon. He really loves Christmas. Ever since he's discovered that his name is spelled backwards as Noel, he's felt called to tell the world the true meaning of Christmas. So when tryouts for the annual holiday pageant came around, Leon figured this was his big chance. Yeah, me too. Just breathe, girls, just breathe. Hey, Jonathan, what part are you going for? The lead, of course. You mean the part of Joseph? Yeah, me too. Hey, guys, is this where they're holding the trials for the Christmas pageant? Leon. Leon, what are you doing here? Trying out for the Christmas pageant. Well, yeah, I guess you could be comic relief. Huh? Never mind. But I want to be in the Christmas pageant. I don't care if it's a big part or not. Obviously, you don't know what this pageant could mean for a career. Yeah, tell us. Tell us we have an audience. You don't know who could be watching. Him, Leon decided to audition for a role in the pageant anyway. First, he started with the male lead. All right, uh, Leon is it? Uh, page 23. You're going to be reading for the part of Joseph of Nazareth. You know the story and action. Mary, we must go to the Bethlehem to pay our taxes. Uh, next, please. Oh well, maybe he wasn't meant to play the lead, but there were other characters in the Christmas story. So next, Leon tried out for the part of a shepherd. Hark, I am sore afraid. Next. <laughs> okay, so Wiseman were important to the Christmas story too. Maybe Leon would try out for that. We have seen the star in the east and have come. Next. <laughs> Leon wanted a part so badly he was willing to try out for anything. Okay. 
Leon, what are you doing here? This is the angel tryouts. I know. Angels are girls. No, they're not. In the Bible, they were boys. Gabriel, Michael. But in this play, angels are girls. <laughs> All right, you angels. Wow me. First up is, uh, looks like Madeline. Fear not, behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. Not bad. Uh, Julie? Unto you is born in the city of David. He is Christ the Lord. Okay. Uh, looks like Brooke. This shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the baby laying in the manger, wrapped in swaddling clothes. No, I'm buying that. All right. Is that uh, uh, Leon? Glory to God in the highest and good will with peace to me, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> hey, kid. Uh, don't call us. I'll tell you what. I'll have the uh, casting list posted by 5 tomorrow. Finally, the cast list was posted. Jonathan got the part of Joseph. Madeline is Mary. All the other kids would be shepherds, wise men, angels, townspeople, and narrators. All the kids, that is, except for Leon. Excuse me, Mr. Director. I don't see my name on this list anywhere. Well, that means you didn't get a part. I didn't get any part. Sorry, kid. I show this. But... Hey, I can't use your tag. Uh, I see. Noel, Leon, Noel, Leon. All right, kid. Tell you what I'm going to do. Um, how about the part of the understudy for the innkeeper? Really? Yeah, really. We'll put your name in the program. Your mom will see it. She'll be so proud of you. Wow, thanks. And this is why I'm not directing on Broadway. It's too nice to get. Hey, guess what? What? I got a part in the play. You did? What part? The understudy for the innkeeper. Oh, wow. You hit the big time. Yeah, is that good? We got to know what the understudy is. Well, no. It's kind of a substitute. You know the unlikely event? The innkeeper gets a hacking cough. You step in. Really? That's an unlikely event, of course. I think the innkeeper has a few lines there. What are they, Jonathan? Well, I say, innkeeper, please, I want a room for the night. And the innkeeper says, no room. No room? That's my part. Yeah, you better go home and remember those lines. Yeah, no room, no room.
Russell's schedule was pretty tough, but even though he was just an understudy, Leon showed up for every single one. No room. No room. Come on, people. Let's rehearse the uh, angels and shepherds scene. And uh, what's your name again? Leon. Leon. Got a place for you right here, partner. There you go. Just hang out here. Okay. So we'll start with the narration. You know your parts. And action. <coughs> and they were in the same country, shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. Shepherd's boy band. What gave that a clue? Well, I liked it. Hey guys, Leon liked it. That's a bad sign. Maybe if you worked on the choreography or something. No room, no room, no room, room. Oh, Leon, I can't help but notice that you've been to every rehearsal. Yeah, I'm an understudy. Yes, but you know you probably won't get to actually perform. But if the innkeeper gets sick... It's unlikely event, Leon. Maybe next time. Yeah. Angels? <laughs> Oh! 
Opening night, it was a packed house, and backstage, all the characters were getting ready for the pageant. Aren't you nervous, Jonathan? No, this is no big deal. You are so cool. We're afraid to you. You're pretty scary looking if that's what you mean. Hey dude, I'll show you scary. <laughs> Boys, I think you're in a costume. It's almost cut to. Do I need more blush? I need more lips too. I hope I don't look washed out. Come on, I'll help you. Let's go back to my line. <laughs> hey guys. Leon, what are you doing here? Yeah, Leon, you're just an understudy. You don't need a costume. Yeah, I do. The boy playing the part of the innkeeper actually got sick. No way, a heart can cough. No, a stomach virus. Now you say, innkeeper, I want a room for the night, and I say, no room. Hey, Leon. Yeah, no room, no room. That's some great acting, Leon. You should consider it a profession. Really? No room, no room. Leon, you ever heard of improv? No, no room. The sign of a great actor is how well he can improvise. It's a big word, I know, but it means to make up lines as you go. Really? No room, no room. All right, places, places. Get in your places, get ready to go. Jonathan, why aren't you in your costume? Mr. Mosley, I was hoping a fellow cast member with his lines. You know I always make her. Oh, brother. And Jonathan did make his entrance, I mean. He was dressed and ready right on cue as he promised. In fact, he and Mary looked convincing as they wearily charged into Bethlehem. Came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city.
David, which is called Bethlehem, to be to be taxed with Mary and exposed wife being great with his child. pageant went on as planned. The angels sang, the shepherds kneeled at the manger, and the wise men entered on their queue. Leon felt terrible. He knew that he had ruined the pageant. Hey, everybody. 
is the big finale, so focus, focus. Just two words, no room. Leon, the lonely understudy for the innkeeper, knew what it was like to hear those words himself, and his heart went out to the newborn Christ child. He had gotten caught up in the moment, but everybody knew that Leon had uncovered the true meaning of Christmas. The others had pushed Jesus aside, but that night Leon made room for the real star of Bethlehem.
but they were amazing today. <laughs> Guys, you were so good that during the Shepherd Boy Band, the back row of high schoolers was Snapchatting the whole time. And they were actually Snapchatting you all up here. Y'all killed it, that was amazing. Kevin said they performed today like they've been killing it all week. And yesterday we wanted to kill half of them, so that was awesome. So uh, we have a few um, special thank yous uh, to make. If you can pull the house lights up, Sarah, if you would like to come up here. So we've been working on this for what seems like an entire year, but it's just been a couple of weeks and I think the kids have done outstanding. So I think they deserve the biggest thanks because they showed up. But um, I'm kind of sad it's over, because now I guess we can look forward to next year. But I have uh, some people that helped, and it couldn't have gone off at all without them. So, um, so one of them is not here. She had a family emergency, but Dina was a huge role in this performance, as well as Aaron Hansen. And Lauren Logston. You have to come up. I just want to thank you guys for your hard work and your help and being my brain and just making this show possible. You guys are awesome. Thank you. That's it for me. Don't think you can go sit down just yet, Sarah. Come back up here. Um, this show was amazing. The kids did an awesome job, and it was uh, because of your directing, so they got you something as well. So, awesome. And I know this seems like nepotism, but it is not. Elizabeth is a high schooler, and she came to help out with choreography and just to be in the backstage doing stuff. She said, I'm here to do whatever you want. And Sarah said, okay, then you get to play a boy's part. So, Elizabeth, um, stand up. We just want to thank you as well, because you uh, were an awesome, you were awesome up here at crowd control the whole time. So, you did a great job. So, we just want to thank you all for coming out and enjoying this Christmas uh, season with us. And we're going to pray and then dismiss. Uh, please tell the kids... What an amazing job they did. Some of them, it might take a while to get out there because we have to take the microphones off of them. Uh, but please, uh, these kids deserve a lot of, of enthusiastic, uh, um, just energetic applause because they did an amazing job. So let's pray. Uh, Lord, we, we just love you and thank you. We thank you for the opportunity to come together uh, to, to remember that, that we, we do need to make a place for you in our hearts, that we do need to open ourselves up to you that this season is all about you. And we just pray that you, you be with us right now as we leave, that we take that message um, that we need to have room for you in our lives. We just thank you so much uh, for all that you do for us. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day.